Uh, a Grand Rapids man admitted that he stole the ruby slippers from the Judy Garland Museum back in 2005. And we were there as Terry Martin was wheeled into the federal courthouse in Duluth. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily was in court when he pleaded guilty. It's been nearly 20 years since Terry Martin stole the famed ruby slippers from the Judy Garland Museum in Grand Rapids. The 76-year-old requires oxygen and wore a mask into federal court to change his plea to guilty. We have some closure. We have, we know at least who broke into our museum. Martin told the judge to use a small sledgehammer to break in and to smash the case the ruby slippers were in. He says he kept them in a trailer next to his home. Martin says he took the ruby slippers to a jewelry fence, and that's when he learned they were made of glass and not real rubies. It's the detail that most surprised the museum's curator. I mean, the value is not rubies. The value is a, an American treasure, uh, a national treasure. T just to steal them without knowing that seems... Ludicrous. And at some point, Martin gave them to somebody else. His attorney said it was the right time to admit what happened instead of going to trial. I think when someone is at the end of their life, uh, they are making decisions that are right for their affairs. And I mean, the, the short answer is because he is guilty. The iconic shoes are one of four existing pairs Judy Garland wore in the 1939 film classic, The Wizard of Oz. They were recovered during a sting operation in Minneapolis in 2018. Martin was arrested last May. Well, where did they go? Was the wealthy collector behind all this? I mean, all these things are unanswered yet. In Duluth, Jennifer Merely, WCCO News. We are told that the size negotiated a plea deal for months. It includes a sentence of time served because of Martin's health. A judge will have a final say in the next.